all right you guys welcome back to my channel this is shay so um i have received an email you know i always like to make videos out of you guys's questions because um you will find that there's so many people who are also struggling in areas that you have also struggled so um i just wanted to share this with you um the power of denying your flesh so some people um ask me like how do you know how to hear god's voice how how long have you been walking with him like they're 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 uh they're like interested in how to get to a place of bond and efficiency with the lord right so y'all have to understand and realize that the power is always in denying your flesh okay you can always know that you're called to a thing but if you don't start denying your flesh you'll never get there Oh yes, it's listen, that's why we have the Holy Spirit. He's a gift. It's like, Lord, if you're here and you're walking with me, you need to teach me. They call you a teacher. I want to learn. Okay? That's how I was. And that's what I encourage you to do. So people are like, well, how did you get your relationship the way that you do? First of all, um, prayer, crying, trials, tribulation, all of that stuff will it forced me to my knees. Okay. And in that time, it forced me to my word. And I began to to uh, really learn who I was in the word and um, learn who he was in the word. So I just encourage you to deny yourself. You have to, or else you'll be ineffective or else you'll miss the mark. Okay, there's so much power. There is power in denying your flesh. If you can deny your flesh, the Lord can allow you to sit in rooms with people of a certain status and you'll be able to deliver a word to them without it being an idolization, okay? The Lord often worked on the hearts and the minds of his prophets and things like that because they had to know when I put you before the king, you can't be in there stuttering. You can't be in there um, shy and timid. No, no. You have to go in there roaring and saying what thus saith the Lord, okay? And if they don't receive you, they're going to lock you up. But just know that I got you. <laughs> and that's how you have to be, okay? So when you deny yourself, the Lord can trust you. He can put you on, on platforms and put you in front of his people because he can trust you. Because you've denied yourself. It's not about money for you. It's not about views for you. It's not about subscribers for you. It's not about um, a platform and all of this stuff. God says, no, when you deny yourself, I can trust you because I know that I'll always have your heart. Listen, when you deny yourself, you get power. I mean, power, power. It's hard to explain, but once you begin to deny yourself and it's not gonna happen overnight, it's not gonna happen like this. Okay, the flesh is something that you have to tame. It takes work. Okay, we have to work towards pushing towards the mark. So that's just a quick word of encouragement. The power is in denying your flesh. It's so much power attached to it. You'll see doors opening up for you. You'll see things just going like this for you because the Lord can trust you. Your elevation is in denying your flesh. In the book of Revelation, it says, I set before you an open door. Listen, that's not always a material door or a, a door of, oh, I'm going to give you some money. It's not always that. Sometimes it's just a door of peace. Sometimes, okay? And a door of, of ex expanding your, your spirituality and expanding your prophetic vision. Listen, a door. Deny yourself. There's benefits to it. The equivalent to a detox in the natural is denying yourself in the in the in the spiritual realm okay um denying all the toxic foods and stuff that's what they do to detox but denying all the toxic fornication and pornography and um drinking and smoking and partying if you deny yourself and denying all of the the that stuff the lord can clean you out okay and you won't be like the pharisees that that the lord talks about in in, in matthew he said you Pharisees, you clean the outside of the cup, but on the inside is disgusting. God said, let me clean you up on the inside. Let me, listen, when you deny yourself, I'll clean you up. That's what I do. So God bless you. I love you. I hope that this encouraged your um, spirits. I hope that this, um, you know, just gave you a little bit of word of encouragement and, and, and just 
listen, put the weed down. Put the drink down. I know you're bored. I know you're in the house. I know it's summertime. I know the, the weather is getting nice, but deny your flesh and stay there. Put them scratch offs down, okay? So I love you. God bless you. Do not forget to like and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys soon.